Okay, here I'm going to show you how to uh, handle multiple Google accounts uh, in one browser. So you won't have to sign out and sign back into different get different accounts, or you won't have to use uh, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and all the other different browsers to, to stay logged in. And uh, the way to do it, the best way to do it is to use Chrome, open up Chrome, the web browser, and click the wrench, which is the settings icon. And that'll allow you to sign into Chrome, not just Google, but you'll sign into Chrome itself. It'll take you to this page, and I'm going to sign into my personal account. And you'll see right here it says that I'm signed in with that account. So then it brings up all the bookmarks that are associated with that, that account. And uh, now I want to add more accounts to Chrome. So click that wrench again and then go to settings and under here you'll see where it says users. You're currently the only Chrome user but you can add more users to this Chrome. So I'm going to click add a user and I'm going to log in with my York account and now you'll see that I'm signed into Chrome and then I'm going to click OK. Now notice in the top right corner that there is a red uh, avatar up here. If I click on it, I'll see the teal avatar and that's uh, for my personal account. So what it does is it creates two separate uh, here it's two separate instances of Chrome and you can be logged into both at the same time and then to switch between the different users you can just click on that icon and you can flip over to the York side and that'll take me here I'll go to my drive and then if I and this is my York Google Drive account and if I click back to Brookhauser and go to this uh, this should take me to my Google Docs Google Drive account um, under a different account so you'll see and you can add as many of these as you want I have five or six different Google accounts and so I can have them all going at the same time and uh, no complications it is important that you do this with a personal computer it gets much more complicated if you're using a shared computer and I don't recommend that but if it's a computer that primarily you just use then that's that should work out hope this helps